I want to try and make this Homebrew Wednesday really, really quick because if I take too long, it's going to take too long to edit it and I'm not going to get it up tonight. Yeah, it didn't sound quite right, did it? Like oh, there it is. Happy over wins, everybody. I need a beer. Let's go get a beer. Oh, spin you right round, baby, right round, like a record. Round, 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 round. Alrighty, what do we have? <clears throat> I have a Bounty Island IPA from Chubby. And a PA from Chubby as well. And Black Sabbath from Panny. Let's just get that out of the way. And we have a stout from Grant Baker. So cool. Cheers Chubby for the beers. Um, I will get a Sriracha Crepuscular up to you. What else we got down here? We got some speakeasies. Come on. This one here. This little beer here. Excuse the sound of the fridge. The Christmas Sour. This one's going to be saving for a while. This is Kerry Sour Beer. And I've tasted it before and it is phenomenal. Oh look there's a 120 minute in the back there. Oh look, some more Black Sabbath. Yum. Oh, more Prohibition Ale. Oh, here she be. Adrian, here we go. This is the New Zealand Homebrew Tour. The bottle is full. I just need to get a label on it. It's got a cap. I've got a box here of Dino's. Um, he sent me down a beer in that box, so I'll repurpose it and I'll send the beer up to him. Then he can ship it somewhere else. So there you go, Tube Dinos. That beer's coming to you, buddy. All right. So yeah, the competition. I do have a Black Sabbath. I've got him. So the competition will be drawn. Um, it was the, this was the competition a couple of weeks back. Pull the, pull the 2,000 subbers. I might draw it a little bit earlier. I was going to draw it on the 25th of May. I might draw it next week. Because there's also a... What's that one? Oh, a fresh hop vandal to go with it. Just waiting on the t-shirts. But, obviously the winner... I'm going to need to know what size you are. So, I'm going to draw it next week. So let's put the black zap off away again. And let's put the dry hop, the green hop. Oh, oh shit, back in the fridge. Alright, safe. And I won't get drunk. Run it, run it, run it. I still haven't got myself a beer though. Alright, what am I gonna drink? Okay, the Sriracha Crepuscular is bottled. I already have kicked the keg and I bottled it up. So I have some bottles to fire out to a few people. As long as I don't drink them all first. Yum! As cloudy as the morning sun. That's what um, crepuscular is. It's the cloudy haze in the morning. And in the evening, actually. So yeah. A fitting name. Oh, fuck. I've managed to taste these two beers. They have not been released yet. These are Yeasty Boys um, collab brew with some young punks who are winemakers, New Zealand winemakers in Australia. And these have been, this has been a collab over the past two years and that has finally come to fruition. Um, and last Friday I got a chance to taste these beers at uh, Regional Wines and Spirits for the Beer and Grape. Uh, grain and grape tasting, uh, which is all about beers made with wine techniques and wine products. So there were some lambics there about the barrel aging and stuff like that, and some beers that had uh, wine added to them, such as this. So this is actually a twisted tripel boosted with botronized voigner. Now botronized voigner, it's a type of grape, um, and the wine was reduced, it was caramelized down to sugars. So the alcohol had 
dissipated off it, it was boiled off, and what was left was caramelized down to the sugars, and it was the sugars that were added to this beer. This beer was a mind fuck. Okay? I tasted this beer, and my taste buds did not know what to do. I could taste a fresh beer at exactly the same time I could taste a salad beer. So there was a confusion of this is so fresh, but this has got two years of aged souring on it. Where's these flavours coming from? Um, keep your eyes open for this beer when it hits the shelf because it will blow you away. It is well worth a taste. And it's 10% as well. Um, Yeasty Boys don't do things by halves. This one is also 10% and this was the, um, the Porter version, which wasn't, didn't have quite as much impact as the um, Trapel um, in regards to that, to that taste explosion, um, but in a league of its own, stood out as, as an exquisite beer. There's a third beer that was not ready at the stage of the tasting um, to sneak a bottle out, so um, we didn't get a chance to taste that. However, these are well worth tasting. I also had a couple of you know, $60 bottles of, uh, bottles of wine, Ooh, sacrilege, $60 bottles of beer that tasted like champagne. Deuce from Belgium just blew away my taste buds, just whew, effervescence, it was just like drinking champagne and I'm not a wine drinker, I'm a beer drinker and I now have something to replace champagne with. Right, so this beer is just a little bit clearer. This is my tradie beer, because my camera stopped recording and didn't tell me, and I was yabbering away, and I finished my video, and I said cheers, have yourself another one, and drunk my beer, and then I noticed that it was all in vain, so I've had to start again, damn. I've been brewing, I've brewed my SJ Port beer, so weekend just gone, I got up at 6 Half past five in the morning and started brewing. Yeah, half past five in the morning. Why half past five in the morning? Well, you see, there's this little application called Uvu. And it brings everybody together like the Brady Bunch. And you can sit there and you can chat with them and you can brew with them. And you can drink with them and have fun all around the world. And I do this quite a bit in the weekend. I, I jump on and I and I have a drink with, with SJ and Kevin and, and Larry and Harry Brew and... Tony and Sammy, when he talks beaver, um, and it's really entertaining, it's a lot of fun. But the guys in the UK, they did a uvu mashing. So there Saturday, lunchtime there Saturday onwards, which is midnight Saturday night, Sunday morning onwards for me, they were mashing in, and I wanted to mash in with them on uvu. So I did. Now I had two options. The first option was at midnight to start to brew, which would have taken me to 4 o'clock in the morning. The second option was to get up early and start brewing. Now the first option sounded like a great idea. Brewery, unlike its shambled states at the moment, it was clean and ready. HLT was at strike temperature. What to do while I wait for 12 o'clock? I know, I'll have a beer. Or ten. Oh shit, can't brew now. After quite a few payback by speakeasy, it's it a bit hard to concentrate. So I'd do it in the morning. Oh, it was hard waking up in the morning. But I was perfectly fine after I got my first beer of the morning in, which was my six o'clock in the morning beer, which was a Bella Rose, a Blondale from France. This was extremely nice. Extremely nice beer. And that put me in the right mood to start brewing. So I brewed my SJ Paul beer. Well, the first one of three. Because, as with a lot of people, I'm trying to brew a beer that will stand the test of time. Speaking of a beer that stands the test of time, congratulations to Grant Baker on cracking open his final bottle from the winning 2013 SJ Paul Challenge. He did very well to hold on to that. Well done. And it was a very nice beer as well. And congratulations on your one year of Homebrew Wednesdays. Um, without you, we wouldn't have such things as running around a brewery and a mad pack full of brewers. Um. You entertain us, Grant. Um, 
I remember the first time I met you in the pub in Karori. Um, great. It's bingo. It's it's wonderful to meet you. It's wonderful. It's actually we went to college together. You were just a couple of years ahead of me. Oh, you're older. Oh, oh, I'm younger. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but yeah, no. Um, cheers, Grant. You have been a great contribution to this community. Um, um, brew tubers, YouTubers, beer drinkers, homebrew brewers. Cheers. Right, so anyway, I'm going to condense this, keep it small, and do some other bits another time. Um, so, KevBoo911, I will deconstruct the heat exchanger for you next week so you can see what it's all about. Um, there will be an SJ Poor Challenge um, update video coming out very soon because um, we have 34 people in New Zealand now. So, we're getting close to the end of registrations and we have some things happening. So, there will be a video coming out just to talk about what those things are um, and to get us all geared up for this. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? There is some more videos. There is the counterflow video. It is coming. Ugh, it's getting there. I am doing pressure testing at the moment. So there's the little brass ends. Oh look, my battery power's running out. Oh fuck. Um, I'm going to bring the competition deadline forward for the Black Sabbath and the Vandal and the Panning T-shirt. Um, that was a couple of videos back. If you haven't liked it, you haven't subscribed, you haven't watched it, it doesn't matter. Um, there is plenty of people that are in the draw. I think there's about 140 odd people that are in the draw for that. Um, so that will be drawn next week on special location. But anyway, I'm going to cut this short, otherwise it's going to roll on and on and on and on and on and on. So cheers. Um, have yourself another one.